Hey, I'm Jake Meeks of the Fireside Tattoo Network, and this is an S8 production. I'm about to walk you through the tattoo stenciling process from A to Z. All right, let's make a stencil. You start with these guys by removing the backing of the paper. It's perforated. Then you remove this little protective sheet, and this is what you're left with. Feed the paper into the printer until you hear it grab. Now I'll go over and print my image. One of the cool things about the 7 series is that you don't have to mirror the image. In previous versions of this printer, you had to mirror an image when you printed the stencil. So go to print, select the S8 7 series printer. When you get to the end, there's a little paper left. Just push this middle feed button. It'll feed it the rest of the way through. There's your stencil, ready for skin. This is the S8 red stencil paper. So the main advantage is to using the red stencil paper over purple is that it covers a wider range of skin tones. It works well on darker and lighter complected people. A lot of times on darker skin tones, the purple stencil paper is kind of hard to see. And then also we mostly line with black ink and black ink over a dark purple stencil is really hard to see. Black ink over a bright red stencil is incredibly easy to see. So there are, uh, there are a few options whenever you're trimming down your stencil. Uh, you don't want to get so close that your hands are in the middle of the, uh, uh, of the stencil itself. You want to leave a little bit to, to actually hold on to and you want to consider where on the body it's going. So there are a couple options depending on where the stencil is being placed. If it's on a nice flat area like a forearm, then you're perfect with something like this. If on the other hand, it's wrapping up and over a shoulder or over an elbow, a lot of times you'll end up with the stencil folding over on itself. So the way I sometimes deal with that is by making small relief cuts in the stencil so that I can place it and lay the relief pieces individually of each other. Otherwise, if I move to the area where there's no relief, when I place this down, there's the risk that I get this folding, this crinkling, which causes this, the stencil itself to line up improperly. That's it for now, and we'll catch you next time.